Hello friends, uh, welcome to TechLeague video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to give you some brief information about chart GPT. So now past few weeks, you can see one of the trending topic is chart GPT. And uh, how to register that and how to use for mainly for learners, so like uh, if you're learning new things, right? So it will help you a lot. There are many ways which you can use, but uh, this video I'm going to give you more about learning part. If you are learning new things, so how we can use that app for learning new things and how it will help. Okay, so just to Google it, open a or chart GPT. So there's an open a website. If you go to this website, there is an option you can find. Try chart GPT. So click on this, it will route it another page. So currently it is very busy and uh, even it is not available for new users. So you see this, it is giving some messages. Okay, if you refresh multiple times, if you refresh, refresh multiple times, you see this, automated, some messages are coming, you see this. Okay, try to th try at least five to 10 times. Finally, you will get to this sign up page. Okay, this is sign up page. Click on this. Currently, it is very busy, many people are using. And uh, this is one of the first app, first few days, which is a uh, very short moment. It's reached a billion people. So now you can, you can register using any mail ID. So I'm going to use a container with the G Google. So here is my mail ID. So I'm going to use my mail ID here. So once you use mail ID, and it will route it to another page and here. So provide your name and continue. And phone number. And it will send SMS. Then enter that code. Okay. So this is the home page uh, that uh, that you can see this dark mode. Currently, it's dark mode, and uh, the name you can see this chart GPT. And here it is giving some examples. You can search here this examples. Okay, you can type anything like Google search. And uh, here you can see this light mode. If you are uh, default is dark, if you want to go with the light mode, you can see this. And uh, here limitations. So sometimes it may give some uh, inaccurate information so our incomplete information so that information they are giving that's a limitation capabilities also they are giving so you can use for multiple purposes if you are learning new things you can search here if you are looking for some suggestions you can use here if you are looking for content writing if you are looking for email writing anything it will suggest just what we will do today We'll understand how we will use this for interview point of view, okay? And mainly PySpark. Let's talk about PySpark, what is PySpark, and uh, interview questions also. Just search here, what is PySpark? So, it will give you automatically complete information about what is a PySpark. So, PySpark is a Python library from Spark Programming. It's a Python language, one of the library to communicate, to use a Spark, okay? And that information it is giving. Similarly, if you're looking for some questions which you don't have an answer, okay? So that you can type here, mainly interview point of view it will help. And if you have some uh, queries related to content or something, subject, any subject which you need some clarification. So it will give you more information about like this, okay? Consider uh, what is Spark session. So it will give you complete information about that. What is a Spark session? And it is giving that information. Consider if you have some questions related to how to get number of partitions. How to get number of partitions from RDD. So which you can type that. So let's try that. How to get number of partitions from data frame. So once it is done, so still it is creation in progress. It is giving example also. It is giving a spark session, how to create a spark session on local. 
and there is a given example also. And if you want to stop Spark session, you can see the stop function it is giving. And uh, yeah, done. Now we can run another one. So how to get number of partitions from data frame? So in PySpark, you can get a number of partitions. I use, you need to convert into RDD, then use this function. It is giving the same thing, giving example also. Data frame, repartition, and uh, another example for repartitioning, then RDD, get number of partitions. Number of partitions, you will get that. Data frame does not have that function, but only RDD is having that. So that's why it is converting RDD and it is giving exact example also. How to create a data frame also using a read API with a CSV file, it is giving example. Okay, so if you are having some questions on uh, some other anything, like uh, consider uh, uh, Collis versus repartition in PySpark. So it will help you a lot and uh, very rare scenarios, it will give some inaccurate information, but you can try that. You can try, compare the standard documentation. It will give you uh, best information from standard, okay? It is giving colleagues and repartition. Repartition used to increase or decrease the number of partitions in data frame. An example also you see the repartition. Other hand, colleagues is used to decrease number of partitions in a data frame. So data frame level you can use only for uh, decreasing. If you go over RDD, you can use for increase and decrease both okay so that example also you see this so that's about uh, chart gpt consider if you are looking for some uh, like in anything consider how to write an email how to write an email to manager okay email for personal leave so it will give you email how to write an email and personal life. So that information it is giving. Okay, so that it will give you. Subject, dear manager, I'm writing a request. You said this. So this way,